What's up creatives? If you use Final Cut, you're in luck because I want to help you make better music videos. You can definitely still use these techniques in other video editing programs, but I've personally been using Final Cut recently and that's what we're diving into today. Let's go. First off, I want to say this video is sponsored by Motion VFX and they have the best plugins around to help you make better music videos. I'll be using their plugins in this video to make my clips pop. By the way, it's Black Week sales over at Motion VFX and they'll have 30% off store wide until December 4th, including Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So make sure that you go click that link down below to get the goods while they're cheaper. First things first, how you shoot your music video clips is very important. So there's three ways to shoot. One, you can shoot on a track tripod so your shot is locked off and in one position. Two, you can float your shots on a gimbal so that they're very smooth and stylistic. Three, you can shoot your videos handheld for a more natural feel and just edgy look. So those are a few shots that I've had from previous music videos and now that I got those into Final Cut, I'm going to show you how I spice them up and stylize them and make them cinematic. All right, so one, I typically shoot on a tripod shot so I can add movement to them like this and you can easily achieve this with the M Music video video plugins for motion VFX. All you gotta do is drag the effect and drop it over top of the clip, stretch it out, and you got a banger, that simple. This is one of my favorite techniques when I'm shooting a music video. Okay, two, if I have a clean performance shot on a gimbal, I can do so many things with the M Music Video plugin and the M Lyric Video plugin for motion VFX. I can add movie bars with an anamorphic look over it to make it stylized and cinematic. I can also add a LUT for a stylistic look without even having to color grade. I can add tons of different effects to make the shot look more cinematic. They have tons of effects. And I can even add more movement with these movement effects to elevate the look of the shot as well. That's dope. Okay, three, if I shoot a performance handheld, I usually keep that type of movement because that's how I shot it and that's how I wanted it to look. But I can add effects to make it look more cinematic using the M Music Video Pack. I can add more handheld movement with this effect if I have some shakes in the shot and my hands just weren't steady. And I can even shoot camcorder style or regular style and drop a VHS effect over it to get that vintage feel and look. And I think that is very helpful when I wanna get these cinematic, stylistic types of music video shots. It's also really cool to be able to offer a lyric video to your music artist clients. Now, previously, years ago, you would have to do this in After Effects and it would take a very long time to write out all these lyrics and put the effects on it and make it do cool stuff, but Motion VFX got you covered. They have a dope pack called the M Lyric Video Plugin where you can shoot your shots that make sense for the video or you can bring in abstract shots, whatever you choose to do, while adding the lyrics for the song over either choice. You can drop your clips in the timeline where you want them to be according to the sounds in a song and simply drop over effects to make the video look cool in the background. You can also put just background elements and then you can drop lyric effects over that and type in all the lyrics for a song easily in the plugin. And boom, it's that easy to make and look how cool this looks for a music artist. Now you can pitch a lyric video on top of an official music video to your clients. That's two videos in one package. So you can make more money in one job and it's just easy to do. I used to be that guy that was anti-plugins because I wanted to make my own effects and I thought that I needed to make my own effects to stand out which you can do, but thanks to Motion VFX, I don't have to do that anymore. I can simply just drag and drop and make some cool effects. It makes my life as a music video editor easy. And I'm not just saying this because they sponsored this video. I truly use these every day. All right, so I do realize that this video was coming off advertisement-like and really, really polished. So I wanna genuinely hop on the computer real quick and just show you how I do use these every day and how they save me time and how they're super helpful and actually show you some of the things that I use within the M Music Video plugin and even some of the other plugins. Let's go do it. All right, so I got a music video pulled up that I shot maybe like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And as you can see, it's all chopped down and everything. So one of the main effects from the music M Music Video plugin that I use use all the time is this anamorphic lens um, layer, which if you take it off, you can see the regular clip. It's already color graded, but you add it, you can see that it does some cool effects. It adds on movie bars for one to make it more cinematic. And if you pay attention to this guy's face over here on the side or just the sides in general around the middle, there's like a blur effect around the edges, which I just like. It adds this cool effect and I've been using it on a lot of my music videos because I don't know, it has this anamorphic vintage kind of smooth vibe to it. It makes the clips not so perfectly sharp around the edges and kind of blends it in blurry and smooth. 
take it off back on you can see it just adds some type of cinematic look to it with that blur you click here you can take the widescreen bars off and if you click here you can take the lens distortion off which i keep it on sometimes depending on the clip it kind of messes with the clip but i think it adds like an anamorphic look which it's called anamorphic lens i like the way that it stretches the clip out a little bit it just something about it makes it look a little bit more cinematic so i've been using that on all my recent music videos that's one thing that i use all the time even on some of my vlogs and cinematic videos in general it doesn't even have to be a music video if you come back to the beginning you can see i've used one of the titles out of the music video pack as well so i didn't even have to go through and make a custom title i just dropped this plug in onto it and then just filled in the text on the sides here change the color to what i like and it's done it's just that easy they got this topography where it fades in and out like that they got this one they have this cool thing the rated r i love this one i've used this on YouTube videos before. This title, they have tons of different titles that you can just drag in and you can just change it. And that comes in handy when you're doing music videos. You don't have to do the title and it's already a preset. You could just drag in and drop. All right, here we got a new vlog that is dropping soon that I'm working on and I'm using different pieces from the M Music Video plugin letterbox. I'm using that right here for my cinematic sequences to have that cinematic look. So I don't only use it on music videos. You come here, I'm using the VHS effect, which is right here in the M Music Video plugin. I'm not just using it on music videos. I'm using it in my vlogs as well to give this VHS vintage look of back when I was in Chicago. And it looks cool. It just looks good. I just des desaturated the clips and it looks tight. So that's something that I use a lot the VHS, I use the anamorphic lens, I use the letterbox, sometimes I use the burn effect, sometimes I use the film grain. These are things that I use not only on music videos, but a bunch of different projects. Another really cool one is this light diffuse. So if you drop it in, it almost looks like you shot with like a pro mist filter. So you don't have to shoot with a pro mist filter. You don't have to bake that into your shot. And as you can see, it blooms the highlights. Let's find a good clip. There's one that's perfect one right there. So you see those lights back there are blooming. If I take it off, it's just regular. If I add it, it makes it bloom and look soft and it just adds a cool looking effect to it. Kind of dreamy. I really like that light diffuse plugin because sometimes I don't want to use a filter to bloom the highlights. I don't want it baked into the footage. I want to have the option of I could add it using this or I could just keep it regular um, take that off like that. So you got the option and you can dial in on the intensity of it as well right here. You can make it pop more. You can bring it down some. It doesn't have to pop too hard. Just a little bit on and off. I like the light diffuse plugin. All right, so here we got another video. It's an everyday YouTube video that I made doing a review on some lights where I used a ton of these effects. I got the letterbox on top. I got the base grade. I got the vintage look to make it look vintage kind of with some grain and flare up the lights in the background a little bit. And I have the dynamic to give really uh, movement on it as well. As you can see, it makes the shot move, but it was just a tripod shot. I was just standing there. So I used the movement, being that I didn't have help somebody to actually hold the camera, move it around, put it on the tripod, added some movement, added the vintage look to it. So it grained it up a little bit, flared up the highlights. Then I color graded it. Obviously that was my own, but then I added the letterbox and I changed the size of the letterbox to the two ratio. And that's just, this is just on a YouTube video. This is, I'm using these plugins on a daily basis to make my YouTube projects. Even back here on these sample clips of these music video lighting setups that I did, I added dynamic movement from the M Music Video plugin. Here it is, camera movements, dynamic, handheld, rotate in, rotate out, VHS zoom in, VHS or zoom in and zoom out regular. So I added it to the shot to make it look better, make it look cooler for this review. And I added the letterbox just to make it look cinematic and it looks good. It would have taken me much longer to do this on my own than to be able to just drag and drop these plugins right over top of it. Here we gonna, I have another one right here, rotate in. This is the clip right here. It's just a tripod shot. It looks cool, but when you add the rotate in, it just adds another dynamic look effect to it and i didn't have to do anything i didn't have to do no keyframes i just drag and dropped it on and it's done so i'm using these effects on daily youtube videos on music videos on instagram reels or stories i'm using it on everything pretty much so it's not only about music videos all right so back to the original clips that i was showing you previously here's the tripod shot here's the handheld shot and here's the gimbal shot i got them all next to each other and i'm just gonna go through this music video pack real quick and just show you what it does here's the anamorphic lens it distorts it it adds a lens flare. You can take the lens flare out. 
You can also change the distortion so that the clip is regular, but it adds the widescreen bars for you. I used to make widescreen bars as a PNG in Photoshop and just drag it into the program and over top of my music videos always. And that took forever. It took longer when I could just have it directly in the plugin and drag it over top of the music video and have my bars for cinematic. You got the burn effect. You can just drop this. You can change how long you want it to affect the clip and it just adds lens flares in. You just drop it in and it's already there and it spices up the clip and makes it look dope. Like that looks fire. You got color switcher. You can drag this onto it and you can make the greens change to a different color, the reds or the blues, you can change them to different colors. But this clip's white and black, so, or black and white, I can't show you that. You got a drop frame effect. It slows down the frames of the clip and it could be really cool on some quick uh, glitchy music video effect style stuff, which I'm not gonna go into because we need to save time for this video. Drag in the dust and scratches, that looks dope. You can drag that across your whole clip if you want to, just like this and have it looking like that and it looks dope. It's easy, you can change how fast it is. You can change if it's black or white dust and scratches, pretty dope. You can add film mats over top of your video. If it's like, I don't know, like a rock and roll video or just a vintage video in general. Obviously the letterbox, just the letterbox. You don't have to do the anamorphic one. You can just do a regular letterbox. Light diffuse, we talked about this. I love this effect. And I think that it looks really good on this clip too because I tried it earlier. It's a little too intense off the rip. You just change it up a little bit. Bring down the diffuse brightness, bring down the uh, threshold and on or off, on. It just adds a soft, dreamy vibe to it. Off, on, off, on. You look at it, it just adds a dreamy vibe. Another really cool one is this prism effect. So let's take the animation in and out off so it just affects the whole clip. Chop it here so that it just affects the clip. And it does a prism effect. This is something that I used to do with pieces of glass and elements. I still do that sometimes if I want to, but I don't have to do it now. I could just shoot a regular clip, as you can see, on a gimbal where it wouldn't be hard to put a glass element in front of my lens. And you just add it here. And now you got that prism um, ghost effect over top of your subject without having to hold something in front of your lens. <laughs> it's so easy and dope. You just drag it over. They got the LUT presets. I typically color myself, but if you're somebody that doesn't know how to color that good, you have the option of using their LUTs. You got subtitles that you can bring in and make it say what you want to say to the lyrics. And it does animations in and out, which are really cool. They kind of fall off. Those are hard to make on your own. You would have to keyframe them and add motion blur and do all these different things. But these are just done for you already. You drag it in and fill in the words. All right, so the M Music Video Pack comes with the camera movements, the effects, the LUTs, the subtitles, and typography, which is all really cool. But it also comes with actual transitions. If you click over here on the Transitions tab, M Music Video, it comes with six different transitions. And I'm gonna show you them real quick just because I want you to see these. So I got two clips transitioning into each other right here, right? And they look pretty cool. There's mo motion moving on his hand and into his hand moving again on this clip in the gimbal, which I think makes for a good cutting point for a transition. So all you do is click the end of the clip right here, have it yellow highlighted and double tap on one of the transitions and then run it. A quick flash. I love flash um, effects. I love when a music video has flashy and glitchy effects. I'm not the biggest fan of a ton of different super, super effect style music videos. I really like flashes. So a quick flash like that is something that I could use in any music video at any time. That's one of my favorites out of the pack. Double click on this one. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but if you like this style of effect, you could do it. It pulls back and has like a prism glitchy effect to it it looks cool but it's not my style to say okay so let's highlight the end transition three this is one of my favorites it's got like a flashy grainy effect so let's run it and we're lagging one more time you see it kind of does like some grain flash and then some like echo trails like ghosting effects of him and goes into the next clip really dope and you can change how fast this effect comes in by changing the duration of it bringing it shorter bringing it longer let's see what it does with longer yeah so it drags the effect longer it makes it last longer so i would want it to be fast i like quick flashy edits so that's a little too fast it still looked good though that was perfect 
See, that's perfect. That's one of my favorites out of this pack, transition three. You can use that on anything. All right, so highlight it again, transition four. This one is very subjective. I don't really like this one. Um, it's really distorted and kind of too distorted for me. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more soft and blurry rather than choppy and like hard lines everywhere. But if you like it, it's there. Transition five. I really like this one. It has like a black fade and slide. I would use something like this for like an R&B video probably. Or a vlog video. I could use this transition in a vlog and then like cinematic sequence. Highlight it one more time, transition six. Let's look at this last one. So this one's really cool. It like speeds up and adds this cool texture over top of the image and then like rolls the image up and down, goes into the actual texture and then drops into the uh, next clip. It's really cool. I like that one a lot. They're helpful. Like if you don't know how to make transitions in Final Cut Pro for music videos, which this is something I didn't know how to do when I trans, um, Third from Adobe Premiere Pro over here to Final Cut Pro. I did not know how to make the style transitions for music videos that I was making in Premiere Pro. So I was having a hard time figuring out, hey, how am I gonna transition clips in a cool way? I need to figure out how to make my own. But once I found Motion VFX and then they made the uh, M Music Video plugin, now I have transitions that I can just drop on instantly and get my video done faster and back to the client so that they'll wanna shoot another video and I can make more money and I can book more clients and I can not spend as much time here at the desk. I can get it done quickly. So that's just being real and organic. Um, M Music Video plugin is really dope. The M Lyric Video plugin is also really cool for music videos. If you wanna make lyric videos for artists, like I was talking about earlier, they got these backgrounds that you can add in and they just add flavor if it's going over top of music. They also have overlay effects just like the M Music Video pack. There's some different ones and I would say maybe a few better ones in this one as well. This glitch right here, you drag it over top of it. Look how it glitches the footage out. It just looks cool. You could add that over top of anything. And the retro look, let's see what this looks like. It's got the scratches, the lens dirt scratches. It's got footage grain. It boosts the highlights. Actually, this one looks better than the one in the M Music Video plugin. I like this one a lot more. I'll be using this retro look. <laughs> it's got the handheld effect. So let's go to this tripod shot right here and add the handheld effect to it just to see what it does since the tripod shot was sitting still. It just makes it have a slight sway to look like it's not sitting on a tripod and somebody's holding it. And that looks good. That looks good. Down here are all the different uh, subtitles for a lyric video that you can choose. They have tons of different ones. Let me see if I can pick one that I think looks dope real quick to show you. Okay, I think this one looks cool. So let's just put that on here. And this is subtitle 34. And if you run it, as the artist or the song is saying lyrics, you can time it up and write in those lyrics easily for it to follow along with what it's saying. I think that's pretty dope. You can add different ones on top of each other as well. So these plugins are really dope. If you wanna make better cinematic music videos, I'm just getting familiar with the M Lyric video. I'm gonna be completely transparent, but I actually see some stuff that I like in here. I don't really do Lyric videos often, but now that I have this opportunity, I think I'm gonna make an actual spec Lyric video. I'm gonna take a song that I like and I'm gonna make my own video, shoot my own shots, drop it in, and then drop the Lyric effects over top of it and send it to that artist and see if they like it. I, I got an artist in mind. Yeah, these are dope, man. I just wanted to hop on here and be genuine, organic, and just show you. So if you wanna make more cinematic music videos and even lyric videos, then make sure you click that link down below and check out Motion VFX, especially right now while they have a 30% sale all month. They're also discounting four surprise products by 50% each week this month, so make sure that you're in tune with them. They're really just out here making the game easier. <laughs> it's crazy. So if you like this video and it helped you in some type of way, make sure you slap that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because there's a ton of other stuff about music videos here on the channel, including behind the scenes and vlogs and tons of cool stuff. Before you go, drop down into the comment section and let me know which style you prefer. Do you prefer a tripod shot and then add movement? Do you prefer those nice buttery gimbal shots and then add effects? Or do you like the handheld edgy look? That's probably one of my favorites. It's just epic. And that's it. I hope that you make more cinematic music videos and even try to pitch some lyric videos to your music artist clients as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.